Hi, it's Tina from Ideas and Embellishments. And today I'm going to be doing a design team project for Caroline's Craft Tree. And I chose, um, I chose this crazy CD envelopes. And I'm going to tell you guys, she named this right. She did. She named this right because it is crazy. It is three, um, three, it's a PDF of three different types of, um, it's got the base, CD base, and then it's got different types of openings that you can use. And then it has tops. I get, these are the tops. Um, so I did, I cut them all out and I am not going to lie. It took a while. And then I decided to get lazy. I got lazy. I took the PDFs of these files and I uploaded them to my Cricut. My Cricut. And came out with stuff. And the reason, you know, I know that not everybody has a Cricut. And I understand that. But you can literally, you can cut all of these out and it'll work just the same. Um, you can take um, the round, then you would need to take the round things and, um, you know, trace around those and cut those out depending on, you know, um, which size you wanted. So that is absolutely perfect. But for the sake of this, I wanted to, I wanted to use my Cricut. So I made this one. Another thing about Cricut is you can resize things. So I made this so I could resize it. And... For this particular one, I used double-sided, double-sided craft paper. And this is some Tim Holtz paper that I've been hoarding, and I'm like, you know, maybe I should just go ahead and use that. So, one of the things that I was thinking about doing with this is to use some of the of some of this paper. It's not really paper. It is what stamps and dies come in. So um, I'm going to cut a piece of this and I'm going to put it in here. I I did this already and I tried to use vellum and I just didn't like it. I didn't like the vellum. It just it just wasn't. I didn't like it. But I do want this to be enclosed. So y'all, this is going to be. Oh, I got an idea. Duh. Here, maybe. Maybe. How do I, how do I? I'm just going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm just going to do it. Because I'm just going to do it. And I'm going to do this. So. I'm going to think this is just like packaging. Um, so I'm not sure how sturdy it's going to be it's just it's just packaging and it's too big watch me I'll cut it and it'll be too small story of my life okay so I'm gonna take this I'm gonna put it on the plastic and that way I know I have it and I want it to be on this side because I want that to be the inside of my CD pocket case thingy. And CD pocket case thingy. And you know me, I love my scoreboard, so I'm going to Come in here and I'm going to score. Yeah, so it'll fold nicely. And you know, you can, you don't have to do this, but y'all, you know how I love a scoreboard. I love a scoreboard. So, what can you do with this? There's a lot of things you can do with this. Um, let's see. I'm going to keep scoring all the insides of this. Okay. Ah, 
that is just pretty in and of itself, y'all. Look, that is just so pretty in and of itself. And then here. And here. I'm going to do like this. Now, um, now you have a decision to make. You can cut this off and have it like a pocket. You can, where is my other piece? Here. You can, here's another piece of score. Let's see. I think I need to score this like, Maybe here, like that. You have to decide. It's like, what is it at? You know, there's so many things that you can do with this. It's so, what did I say? Versatile. What side did I put that on? See? This is me not knowing what I did again. And that's Khaleesi Bear. There. And that could be that. So I could this one. So you can leave the little, you can leave the little, the little one here like this, and just fold it over and have it, you know, like this. Um, you can take this part and put it in a journal and have it as a. I think that's what I think I want to do, actually. And then we have, you can use this as a, this also makes a really cute pocket. But I think that's what I want to do with this one. I think what I'm going to do is put a little, oh, just a little one, right here. And... I'm gonna glue these two sides down. You can hear my dog sniffing at the top of the stairs. This is so funny. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can hear, but I can hear. She's like, what? I'm gonna take this and fold this down. There, like that. This is like not, y'all, this is like not anything real creative or then ink it. You know, I couldn't find this this morning. I was came in here and I'm like, and it was gone. And I kind of flipped out a little bit. Found it on the floor. Cat strikes again. This is really pretty. One of the things you can do with the back of this is you can, this, I think you can find a way to make this a really, to put something in here. What can you put in here? One of my, um, one of my uh, subscribers was asking me about journaling space. So, let's see, let's this work. no, I need two, I need a bigger piece of paper. Let me see. Actually, I could, I could use this because it kind of matches. So what I would do is here, go ahead and. I need to make those dark, or, or this old lady can't see. So, I'm gonna just, or, I kind of, you 
kind of wish it had it, which, you know what, I'm going to do it this way. So it's not. And then, where's the other? Oh, right there. And right there. Then what you can do is put something in here, and I'm going to use. I'm going to use this. I'm going to use this, and like that. And I'm going to go ahead and cut me a piece of this. bent up when it was being dyed. Awfully oh, dyed. And then I'm going to cut this off here. That. And then I'm going to glue this. This is a experiment, y'all. That, that, like that, like that. Now, we can put something on the front here, which I think would be kind of nice to put something on the front here. So let's see if I can find something, something, something. Um, let's see, maybe one of these, maybe these specimen field note cards. That might be cool. Or even, oh, because it's round. Let's do this one. And let's do that one. And Let's see, and maybe another scrap, another scrap. Mm. Maybe. Uh, no, I don't like that at all. Move, Coda. Move, Coda. Move, Coda. Mr. Cole. It's a dog. It's a dog. I know. You know, I don't know. Maybe it maybe it'd be enough just to have it. I think it might be enough just to have it like that. I'm gonna go ahead and ink that and put it right there. So this is take it and put it in here. We have lots of hidden journaling space, but it's nice in here. I'll put it in here like this. And it's and it's pretty. And then what we can do with this is depending on how you want it, put this like here. Like that on there. And when 
like that. And I think <clears throat> the other piece, the other piece that came off of there, I am going to ink around this. I'm going to cut this off. And I'm going to ink around the bottom. And I'm going to put some glue on the sides like this. And use this as a matching upside down tuck place. That'd be cute. Super cute. So these can also be used as, you can use them as the tops or you can use them as the tuck spots. The other thing that I could do back here, I also have this one, is you can put something back here that would be like a surprise, which I probably will do. Like maybe a collage or something of that effect, and it would be like that. So that's one way to use, I'm gonna go ahead and put this right here, these awesome things. So the other one that I, the other one that I did, and I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with it, but this is this kind of thing. This reminds me of a junk mail envelope. Why? I don't know. It just reminds me of a junk mail envelope. So that's kind of what I thought I would, the thing of it is, that's what I thought I would do. So I'm gonna go ahead and score these again because I want them scored. Cause this is another, just another, um, I wanted to do the other kind. So, just another example of what you can do with these. Okay, I'm gonna run over here to my stash. Let's see if I can find me. A junk mail envelope. I'm gonna find me a junk mail envelope. If I got one, lose. See, and I am no way affiliated with Lowe's <laughs> at all. But and I'm just gonna tear this apart. Why not? So what I have is this thing, and I'm wondering. No, you know what? I'm not going to want to worry about that. I am just going to cut it out. This one might actually be too small. Too big. Might be too big, but look, it's fine. I'm going to cut this out a little bit. Another way to use those junk mail on the right. Like that. Perfect. So I'm going to go around this. Here. Seeing this? Hopefully I'm in frame. I'm not so good at in frame. So this is. I'm going to make sure this is here. Cool. That is so cool. Okay, yeah. I'm glad that worked. Because you never know. Things I do, sometimes they just don't work. 
So now we can fold this. And we have that junk mail. Beautiful. And here. And here. And here. And I cut out both of these, and I don't know what I did with the other one, but maybe. I don't know. Oh, well. Um, <clears throat> so this one I am going to go ahead, and I'm going to just score that a little bit. Because I want to take this, and I want to, I want to put it on here like this. I want this on here like this. So I need <laughs> like fun and <enough. laughs> Okay. It's going to be alright, y'all. Oh, we gotta let this dog out. Alright, so I need to I might you know what? I should have just not. I'm just gonna do that and fold it. And then I'm just gonna, oh, because you don't even need to score that. Oh, I'm so dumb. All right, I got that. Let's ink it. Junk mail envelopes, y'all. Who knew? Right? Who knew? I love it. So. These are so versatile. You can do so much with them. So, I mean, obviously, there's the, like I did before. It's very easy. So then I was thinking, why not put, as a background, um, this like this, like uh, this. So I could just put it like this and have book page. It's kind of neat. Um, the other thing I can do is I can scrunch this up a little bit with my coffee. Let me do that a little bit. Cause we, some of us like grunge and some of us don't like a grunge. So we have the grunge. Grunge here. And I like to do this. And another thing we can do is, it's my coffee dropper. Um, right here. No, nope, that's not coffee dropper. Oh, here it is. I really like to take my coffee dropper and like drop it like from from, a, from afar. And it's the same thing. It's just coffee with, um, it's just coffee with alcohol in it. And if I want to grunge it up a little more, I'm going to take the stencil that I got. This is the Tim Holtz stencil that is super cool. Let me get my paddle brush, a little paddle brush, and some of this here. Oh no, some of y'all may not like. This is going to be, the other one was my pretty thing, this is going to be my grungy thing, so. Oh, I love that. And then I want to do this over here. This one in a different journal. And I get these paddle brushes, I have said you guys, off of Amazon. So, and sometimes you can find the little bitty ones at the Dollar Tree. Um, so, they're kind of cool. And I think I'm gonna. Do this here on this tile too. 
All right, that's nice and grungy. I love it. Love it. Love it. So it's got a nice grungy feel here. Then I was thinking the other thing I could do is um, like this, but now nah, like that. I kind of want a. The other thing you could do is music. This is a hymn, though. Music might be cool. And I could just do that one thing. One thing. Right here. do with this though is I want to I don't want it to be overly beautiful I want it to kind of look crappy <laughs> on the outside and take this and I think the best thing for this would be glue stick so I'm gonna do that and I want it to be I want to make sure it's straight. I don't know if you can see that. Straight. And when you close it, awesome sauce. So I like it. I'm not sure. I think I want to, you know, I'm being like really kind of ridiculous, but I think I don't want that there. I don't want it to show. I don't want it to show past there. Yeah, like that. Okay. Get my neck in. Grab the glue. Make sure that's all stuck down. Good. Okay. Whoops, I got glue on the back of here. Make sure that's all taken off. So what we have here is this. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna glue this down. I'm gonna glue these down too. Here, just something. I don't know what I wanna do. Let me pull these down like this. Cause I don't want those here. I'm gonna close those off. I don't know. I just, I just don't. I just, I just don't want them there. So I'm gonna cut those off. Just don't want them there. Just want them. All right. And I'm gonna glue these down. And Poor puppy, she's so sad. There, so I have this. We have like this. So, what we can do with this is we have a pocket here. The other thing is I don't really like, well, it doesn't really matter, I guess, because you're not really going to be able to see this that much. Well, um, Put a little bit of grunge in there. Like that. Yeah, like that. And then you can use this as a pocket. Um, pocket and 
or you can use it as a flip. Now I turned it around this way, uh, so it's not going to be that kind of a pocket. So I'm gonna get my, I'm gonna get my me journal. This is my, I'm gonna use my me journal that I created, that I made. I'm gonna put this in here so I can show you how this can work in this me journal. Um, let's see. I kind of, this is kind of neat, so. This, nope. Look at my friends' pages. this would be good. I think I'm going to do it just like this. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put it here, is I'm going to here, here, and along this bottom here, so make sure it's all up in there, <laughs> all up in there. And I like the way it goes on this page. It's a nice contrast to go on this page. And then I have a tuck spot right here. And then over here, I have this, which I can collage on, which I probably will. Uh, let's see what I can do. I'm going to find, I'm gonna find a, some scraps here. And I am going to, I have, I don't want to get rid of all my, what does not matter? I'm going to put some of this stuff on here because I really want to. So I love these happy scraps and I think you've seen these before. So I'm going to, I'm going to put this here. Like that. And no, that's not too much. Not enough contrast. I one of the things I really love using is um, cardboard, <laughs> y'all. I think that might be mm, kind of cool. So. Like so, put that over here. Over here, like that. Uh, just like a, and ooh, one of these leaves, which you can't really see. <laughs> so, I mean, if I had a nice, like, I could do that, but I don't. So, There's a pretty piece of um, vellum. I don't know. Oh, I see. Mm, just kind of messing around, y'all. Messing around. Okay. Some tracing paper. Just really pretty. Well, maybe collage. And I really do want this leaf, but um, it doesn't have, I don't have enough of a, a phone. I don't have enough of a, to um, contrast, so. I need a focal point, so I'm going to probably use um, one of my a 
flower maybe. I have a lot of flowers that I could use. But, ooh, I know, I, know, I got a better idea. I'm gonna use one of my die cuts. I really like this butterfly. Love the butterfly, and this is just one that I that I um, did. But I need something else on the back here. I need something else to go behind, like darkness. This is a little paper pad. My thought, pro my thought process is, okay, well, you know, I don't know, maybe, maybe he's enough. And with a sentiment, let's do that. I think I'm just, I think that might be enough. And then I'll put some kind of sentiment at the bottom. And... And this goes like that. And then I want to put a sentiment in there. I think I have them out somewhere. I do. Um, I, it needs something up here, and I'm not sure what. Um, I'm not sure what. How about happiness is an inside job? Yeah, I need something up there. I don't know what. Maybe some round thing. <laughs> round image. That, let's see. Maybe. Hmm. No, it's just something. I don't know what it needs. It needs something. I don't know what. Uh, I, maybe, I got an idea. Maybe what it needs is some. Um, something that works like a working pen. That didn't work at all. <laughs> uh, how about gold? Gold could be cool. Maybe it's what it needs. You know what? That might be what it needs. It might just need some gold. So what I'm going to do is get my gold and my water. And a this little thing. Put this here. Definitely, when in doubt, splatter with gold. <laughs> gold splatter. You can also maybe put some here like this. I love the gold, it's so pretty. Okay, I think that'll be all right. I'm not sure I'm loving this and there's something still that needs to go here. Not sure what, but uh, maybe I just need a round something. Let me I keep thinking I need a round, something round. Maybe. Ooh, this is kind of pretty. Let me ink it. I am just, you know, 
doing so much. I don't know why, I don't, I think maybe. All right, I'm gonna call that done. But anyway, so pocket over here, you can put something in, flip, and then pocket here that you can put something in. And lots of gold and splatter. So head on over to Carolyn's Craft Tree. I will put the link in below and pick you up some crazy CD envelopes. And hopefully, I will see you later. Bye.